I want to show you just a really easy, very natural uh, full face that you can do. And it really, it doesn't take a lot of time. It's going to take me longer just because I'm doing it in a video. Um, but normally it doesn't take very long. So I'm going to start with the mattifying primer and put that all over my face. This is the one that will help to make my skin look a little bit younger. It kind of makes any of my wrinkly areas firm up. It fills in any open areas like any pores, fine lines, imperfections, just kind of takes those away, so to speak. And I always put it on my neck and I let that sit for a few minutes. And I'll put some eye primer on my eyelid for my eyeshadow just to keep my shadow there looking good and strong. And then I don't use as much uh, product when I use my primer. And I'm also going to put primer underneath my eyes just below my lower lashes, just a little bit. And this keeps my mascara from running, or if you like to do eyeliner on your lower eyelid, that will also keep it from smudging. So, fun little trick. And this eye primer seriously lasts forever. So there's my eye primer. Next up, I'm gonna work on my eyes. The reason I'm gonna do that is that gives extra time for my face primer to set. And I'm going to take just a very, very, very neutral color. If you have palette six, that's this one here, it's called Calm. If you don't have palette six, just find a really, really light color and just lay it on your eyelid all over just to give yourself a base layer. And then I'm gonna take my fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna get a darker color. So I'm going for this one here. Oh, let's do, yeah, that one's fine. Um, again, if you have palette six, it's called Audacious. If you don't have palette six, perfectly fine. You just can find a little bit of a darker brown, really whatever color you want it to be. And I just go right in the corner here of my eyelid because that defines this area here and if you have a hooded eye you can sure bring it up a little bit like I have a little bit of a hooded eye so I usually bring it up a little and then do the same thing on the other side and it takes a very light hand when you're applying any of your makeup you don't need a strong hand. So that's why I hold it towards the bottom of my eye brush because that just keeps me from putting too much pressure on it. I always do one eye darker than the other. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I sure do. So I try to match them. I think it's my left eye that I usually make it darker than the other. Okay. So then I'm going to come in with my blending brush and I'm going to take um, just a, another like kind of shiny color here. It's lofty if you have palette six. If you don't, that's okay. Use just another very neutral kind of shiny color. And I go and cover the rest of the lid, blending it in. And then I take it and I come up into the brow. And that blends that color in a little better. So if you feel like you got too dark in one eye, you can blend that down now. And then it's not so dark and noticeable. So there's the eyes. Now we're going to do the stick foundation in the color tool. And I'm just going to put this all over and I just kind of pat it all over my face. I pat it so that I don't like pull my skin down and promote wrinkles. Um, and then I don't like to do just lines all over my face anymore because I just feel like sometimes I wasn't blending it very well doing it that way. So this is my new way of doing it. And it's been working really well for me. Let me get under my eye a little there too. And then I take 
my kabuki brush. The kabuki brush was made for like the stick foundation and our spray foundation. It's an amazingly soft brush. It's easy to clean because it's flat. And it makes blending your foundation and just so much easier. Gentle around the eyes. And I just go all over and I always do my neck. Because I want my neck and I want my face to match and be the same color. And the rest of me is pretty pale. So once my neck is blended in, the rest is usually pretty good. So I don't tan like a lot of lucky people out there. Or like my children do. They tan. Tan beautifully. Like their father. Okay. Alright, so there's that. Next, I'm going to take a bronzer, and if you have like a darker uh, blush that you use or just some kind of like a bronzing color that you like to use, we also have like our luminizers, which are these. Um, they give you that contrast, so whatever you use to do contrast, you can use just to give yourself a little bit of that cheekbone contrast and give yourself a little bit of that sun-kissed color. To just give you a little bit more definition within your face. Now we're going to set it with setting powder. So I'm going to take my powder brush here. And very generously apply my setting powder to my face and my neck. And what this is going to do is it's going to set my look so it'll keep it looking good all day. It's going to promote any makeup from going into any fine lines and wrinkles because that's what the primer does. But at the same time, this is like a backup to the primer to keep your skin looking super great. Okay, we're getting close to being done, guys. Then we're going to do brows. So I use a brunette brow palette. And I always comb my eyebrows because I have long eyebrow hair. So I have to comb it and keep it, you know, waxed. And so I'm just going to use a really light color from my brow palette, the lightest brown, and bring it in all the way to the arch and then back out. And if you want a super simple look, you could totally stop there. So my hair is not as dark right now as it normally is so I could stop there if I really wanted to but I want to show you how I can define my arch a little bit more using the darker brown in this palette. So I'm going to take a little bit of the dark brown I'm going to come right into the arch and kind of hit that part of the arch the part that kind of points. I'm going to hit that and then bring it down and then I kind of blend in one eyebrow here, just like out in La La Land. It's just hanging down all by itself. Darn thing, anyway. It's like smiling at me, teasing me, saying, Ha oh, ha, I'm a crazy wild hair. And that just defines my arch a little bit better. Next up, I'm going to curl my lashes with my lash curler. This is nothing fancy, nothing special. It's just a regular Revlon, I think, lash curler. Probably got it at Walmart or Walgreens or something. So I curl my lashes because they kind of lay a little bit flat. They're longer now thanks to my lash serum, but they still kind of lay a little bit flatter. So I like to give them a good curl. And since my eyes are a little bit hooded, it just kind of helps the lash to go up and over the hood and just makes my eye color really pop out that way. So I curl them. And then I'm going to take the 4D Fiber Mascara. I'm going to take it out of the wand. And then it's got one side is longer bristles and one side is shorter. So when you're putting this on, you go at the base and kind of rotate it and wiggle up. And that disperses the mascara all over. 
And ah, once you get yourself in the eye, like I just did, don't do that. But once you get enough at the base, then just focus the rest of the swipes that you're doing on just like from the middle of your lash up. So you don't make it too heavy at the base of your lashes. And then we'll go to the other side. I'm a double dipper. I re-dip my wand. A lot of people don't. You don't necessarily have to. Enough product does get onto the wand that you don't really have to double dip, but it's just like this habit that I cannot break. So I double dip my mascara. Which is fine, because nobody else uses it but me anyway. And then that lower lash is there. Now remember, it's not going to smear, because we put that primer down low. Wiggle, wiggle. You can kind of look, look in your mirror if you need to. Sometimes I come across my eye like this, just to kind of hit the lashes at a different angle. Okay, and if for some reason you make a whoopsie and you get some of it on your eye, you just use your shadow brush and just wipe it away like it never happened. And if you get it below your eye, like I said, you put that primer down there so you can just use your foundation brush and very gently wipe it away just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to put on a lip bonbon just to give my lips a little bit of moisture. And then I'm gonna follow it up with the cream, powder to cream, lipstick. So this is just a very neutral color. It does not take much of it. I don't double dip this one. You get plenty with just what you get out of the container. And that is the color uh, compatible. And then don't forget, get any of that off of there so you don't get it on your teeth. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not on my teeth. All right, there you go. Super simple look. If you do like to use a setting powder now or setting spray, now would be the time to do it. You don't really need it right now, I feel. Um, so that is just a really, really, really easy, quick, natural look that brings out your natural beauty and doesn't look too over the top.